Hey, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we rejoice and be glad in it. We hope that we are um, will be a blessing for you in the next 30 minutes. Um, call a neighbor, call a friend, and let them know that Man Up is on the air. We had an awesome service this afternoon. Yes. Um, God has really moved in our ministry. We just closed our Unity Conference, and we thank God for what he's doing today for us. We're so excited to have um, um, a new Man Up member for the day. Amen. Let's give a hand to my brother here on my on this side. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Matt, it's just had his baby yeah. Saturday or um, Friday, Thursday, whatever day it was. Um, he just had a, a newborn son. Um, we're so excited to let to see that the kingdom of God is growing legally. Um, John instead of illegally. Um, <laughs> what God is doing in us. We, we got a crazy topic, guy. We're going to get right into it. Um, why don't y'all share this? Um, take some time to share it. If you have any questions, um, throw some questions at us. Uh, we'll be glad to try to answer them off the air because we got a lot of questions already to do. Um, so let's get right into the program. Um, man, this is the question we have today. Um, what what do a man need in a relationship? Um, I'm kind of looking at this as a, from a woman. <laughs> from a woman, um, we're gonna do this woman thing today. Um, what do a man needs in the you know well, or needs in a relationship with a woman? So I, I think first you know compatibility, um, and that compatibility not just that you know you got a shape or you cute, none of that. Uh, that's important, but not that. And I'm saying compatibility. I think when you're younger, that becomes important first. Right. Yeah, but that's not that's not the the ultimate thing. The compatibility is that you understand where I'm going and what I'm doing, and that you can partner with that. And the same vice versa, that you have something that you bring into the table that I can partner with. Cool. I don't want to come to the table and all you got is a knife and fork. Derek, what, what you think? Since you're the new one on the block, um. Compatibility is key, like I said, um, but not just compatibility. You need to have relatability. Like I said, um, when you think about women and men, you got to think about where they come from. Like I said, you can't get someone that's too high up on the scale to where they're, as we say in the church world, too holier than thou, and y'all can't relate spiritually to. So it has to be that like warm medium where they actually come together and can build off of one another, so they can relate to one another. Um, 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 John. <laughs> John, uh, uh, do the best you can with that question. If you know. I can. Yes. In the name of the Lord. Uh, um, I think uh, a, at least talking with a woman, um, I think they like to be have security, feel safe. Um, with whoever they are partnered up with. That the woman needs to be feel safe? Yeah, secure and safe. Financially, safety. When the woman is feel secure so what, safe. So let me twist it on you. What, mm -hmm. what do a man want? Not what the woman needs, but what do the well, man want? I thought you want? said with woman. You said you I know we started the show with men, but we're we going to fix it. We're going to go that way. What do the man want? <laughs> um, teamwork. Teamwork. That's all I got. Teamwork. Faster. I think uh, what the man needs and the woman, first off, is respect. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's extremely important uh, that men are shown respect. Um, it's much easier to give respect when you're shown respect. Um, also, uh, not only respect, but being honest. You know, just, so a lot of people have a lot of things that are buried in the past and may want to keep them in the past, but let's be open and honest. So we can start a good foundation uh, and move forward in that from that point on. Um, that all these, all those points are good, I, and I, I agree with all of y'all, especially on John's point. I really agree. With it. But I think that for me, and in, in the and in, in like before the show started, you were saying the twenty-four year old person or the forty-five yeah. year old person. You didn't say it fast. No, I know. Some credit for it. That's what you said. Um, um, for the age that I'm in, I need someone to have patience with me. 
because when you when you get to a certain age, you you think you got everything right, and when you connect with someone, that person has to have patience that you forgot that they have a role in your life or they have a role that has a significance um, or, or a voice. And when you're leading people and always being the voice, this one has patience to understand. Sometimes you're gonna miss that that person has a voice. For me, I got, I got, I'm gonna throw some, you know, some more questions out. Um, the number, number question is: Name two things that you need from a woman in a relationship. You need it. Two things you need. Um, we're gonna start with John. And get it out the way right now. Let's <laughs> talk with John right now. I love you, man. Um, something. Um, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna stick with teamwork. Teamwork and support. Um, I, I think relationships. What, what would a man need? Um, I'm gonna say teamwork and support. A lot of support understanding and, and maybe to piggyback like off you said somebody that understands because when two people get together you know we two different people trying to be one so right. some patience and understanding on where i come from trying to meet her as well how about you Pastor? well it's almost i almost answered that the first time there's one thing i eliminated was love mm -hmm. because good. without love uh, god is love so it's so important that the relationship is started with love and i need that person to express love the way they understand love so we can really begin to communicate with one another as to what is required, what we don't, what we like, what we don't like. Um, I have trouble bouncing back and forth because keep going back to what he said because you think about how things were when you started and how things are now. And things have grown and matured so much now and I'm really thankful that even though things started out with love, love wasn't sufficient to keep us going. And it sounds strange that some people some people may hear that, but I, I needed that respect. Mm -hmm. I needed her to uh, stay focused on her goals, you know, so that, so that I know what I need to be praying about. So those things are, I think are very important. Um, Pastor, um, understanding and um, a go getter. A go getter. You want to fail the bills? No, no, no. I need <laughs> her to have some ambition because, like, you when you when you're creative. And you are always, you know, thinking and creating and doing. You want somebody that can that can be a part of that, that can match it, support it. Somebody that don't pull it back. Right. Gotcha. Okay, that sounds good. How about you? Um, mine was said understanding. Like I said, you you have to know that the type of person that you may be or I am. Um, sometimes I give stuff straight to the point. No cutthroats. No water down. No nothing. So you have to understand that. I'm not saying those things to intentionally hurt you. So even though they may hurt you, you have to understand that that's not where my heart is. That's not where I'm coming from. So you have to have that understanding. That's a good question. That's a good point. And I'm going to throw the curb. Do you think that most women know a man's heart? No. No. Not at all. No. no. And I think, it's our, I think it's our fault that they don't know it because we don't effectively communicate it. We assume that they, that they should know it we assume that they should just get it, but if we don't communicate it, we can't hold them accountable for it. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna challenge you on that. That it's our fault that they don't know, because if we have to study them, they should study us. I'm gonna challenge you on that. I think it's unfair for us to spill and write the whole paragraph about who we are, and then we gotta spend six years guessing her. That's unfair. I think that's unfair. I think that if you value something, you study it. You know, I think for you know. The first birthday, you messed up real bad. You thought I wanted to be at your mother's house for a birthday party. No, I didn't want that. But by the second birthday, you ought to know I don't like your mother. So we shouldn't have a party with your mother's house. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not in there to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So I'm going to challenge you on, on um, blaming us for not expressing. I think that there's a character to everybody that you, just don't, you feel weak telling people how much you need. They should study you. And know what you need. I, I, I get that a lot being a pastor. Like, I don't know what to get them because you won't study me. If you study me, it'd be easy. It'd be real easy to understand what he enjoys. That's just me. What are you going to say? I would add to that. If they're, if we're going to study you, then you must be truthful. You have you to know, be truthful. You. you have to show me your true self because if you don't, 
then I'm studying the wrong thing. I'm studying the mixed up version or a, a bizarro version of you. So now but I have now this we, idea. we're talking about relationship. We're talking about uh, a bond and marriage intimacy. You know, it's but in a relationship, and 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 it's something about a relationship where there are things are really is exposed, but you know it. Right. So it's not like I'm not being truthful. Mm -hmm. You just really ignoring that, uh, you know. Your love, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just ignore that. I, I'm, I'm lazy. You are ignoring it. You think that you know it's, it's you. You kind of call me being over uh, overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm, I'm really lazy. You know, mm -hmm. whatever kind of per person I am. Right. You don't know, take you 20 years to find out who I am. It took you 20 years to find out that you couldn't make me to be who you want me to be. That's good. That's, that's, good. Good. that's, good. that's yeah. the truth. Yeah. John, you want to say something? I saw. Sweat from them. Yeah. No, um, and date. That's why dating is important. Yeah. Um, so when you get to the engagement, because even in engagement, there's levels of still learning each other. But before marriage, if, if you keep it one hundred, on because and, and on both sides, men and women. But you know, a woman say they like to cook, and dating she cooking for you all the time. But you know what I'm saying? Then you get married, and you know, okay, we got two kids. Now you're on cooking, you blame it on that. Well, really, you never like cooking. You're trying to get me. Mm. Guys, yeah, I was you... opening doors. I was doing this and I was doing that. We get married, and after about four years, it fell off. When it was never embedded in him to be a gentleman like that, but he was trying to do what, what he saw acting. or heard mm. or acting. That represented him. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but uh, uh, y'all saying some good stuff. I mean, you know, I, I work on the left side of my brain. But go ahead. You know, that's um, some of the best advice I got just before I got married was, Always put God first and never let your wife stop being your girlfriend. And you know, when you put put it in that order and that perspective, mm -hmm. those things will be ironed out. That see, you're talking I about, it, you know? When I can't, well, I can't, I mean, in the beginning, you know, like, I mean, I'm, I see what you're saying, but when, because we do the show, I know we talk to people, and I've learned through like everything, said, everything mistake, wasn't presented by God. It wasn't first. presented by God. I wasn't taught by people. They, they went to church. My parents went to church, but. You know, the world got a way of doing stuff and you just picked up habits. Sure. And, um, you know, I, I made a lot of mistakes. And that's how you learn. The thing is, when you go through something and you do make a mistake, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You learn yeah, from it. You're supposed yeah. to learn from it. Some people yeah. make mistakes, scared to say they made a mistake and own it. But you know what I found out? I found out for me, maybe y'all, you know, I really didn't know how to date. Yeah, my dad, I didn't even know how to date. My dating was terrible. I was I was a mess, and my I was, was oh, terrible. I, even now I can date. I don't even know how. Well, that, I, no, yeah, well, you know, John, you're not dating. Uh, <laughs> I'm free to go to my. No, 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 I'm not saying. Let me get it right. Let me say it right. You know, I understand some people on the green bus, some on the yellow bus. I'm not saying I don't know how to go on a date. Right, I get what you're mm -hmm. saying. I, you know, I don't know how to date. My mind. Is so used to attachment, right? Gotcha. Bonding. Right. I don't know how to date. But part of that comes from from learning and teaching. There really isn't a dating environment that teaches you that. Exactly. It's it's either single or married. Nobody really touches dating and how to date properly and all of that. Like my dating was terrible. Most of my dating, we never we never made it outside. So, you know, it was it was Netflix and chill. You know what I mean? So it wasn't we wasn't doing a whole lot of going out. And part of that was because. You know, I was multitasking. So, you know, you you didn't always want to be in the public when you're multitasking. But later, uh, I learned how right. to date. We'll yeah, we'll yeah. I learned how to date, honestly, once I got engaged. You know what I mean? Once I got engaged, we really started dating. See, that, 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 I, and I, I'm going to challenge you on that because was, were you dating or was she following you around in your world? No, we dated. She followed me in my world. You know, I followed you her place. She yeah. said, said it the second row. While you played and got mad at the girls on the front row, to my look at him playing, right? You know, yeah. what, you know, just know how. No, I started in 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 um, engagement a date night, and we had a date night. Still to this day, we have a date night where we set aside at least one day a week where we concentrate on us, especially because we've built a family and we got multiple people that we're responsible for all of these responsibilities. So there still has to be a portion where we still focus on us. If not, we'll build a family and then once the family gone... So y'all had date drink. night from the day y'all was engaged to, to now? Because I'm going to call your wife right now. We had a couple... Right we had a, we had a couple <laughs> that's awesome if it is. But we, I, had that's, that's, falling off. we had a couple falling off. Okay, okay. Then you were but, a book man. You were yeah, we, are, we had a couple falling offs, but like for the most part, we dated consistently. And at the same token, 
it was a learning experience. You know what I mean? Like she dated, you know what I mean? Because that's something that guys like to do. They like to impress. Uh, you know what I mean? So I learned to date during that process, but ours was more about quality time. You know what I mean? And the things that we were doing and learning and all of that together. But oh, that's beautiful, man. Anybody else? Did anybody have anybody teach them how to date? No. No, no, I, no, no. I'm no, telling no. you, I my world know. was so big. And I'm not trying to sound like I was booming. Right, right. But my world was so big to the person I was dating. It was just like she walked into something that was really big. Something existed. So it was like, this is what I do. You follow. And, you know, look nice. Whatever the case may be. I'm not right. trying to. Right, right, right. And it was like big to her. And, and to the point that it irritated her. Right. Yeah. Because it was so big. So I really didn't. She yeah. just I came just, around. I think around. you get into stuff. It's, it's to, to a female, whatever your world is, the music or the, what you was doing with music or whether it's the, the, the dude um, doing shows, like comedy shows, some kind of, and you bring her into it and it's like wild to her. He do, doing this. I think because even that day, I was a type, I, I was I was interested in what she was interested in. Mm -hmm. So whatever she was doing, I would go to her stuff, whether with her family and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And and every that's why I say everybody different. It's like a balance. I wasn't bred for it, but I think the way my mother raised me in some ways, it helped me out in date. But my mother never taught me. So like you, like I can say I respect women, but I cheated on women. You get what I'm saying? Thank but you, you don't intentionally get with somebody. And because eventually you get unsaid, whatever for whatever reasons. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But when I was with her a, a female and I, I was looking at her a certain way, yeah, that's who it was. That's who I was with. We dated. Like, mom we go out on dates. We hung out. We did everything together. She liked to go skating. I didn't. I would go skating. So I wasn't trying to make her be in my world. That's why I'm out of You know what I mean? Like, every pimp got a, a thing. You know what I'm saying? And women be like, he, he do what I do. Like, it, dudes don't do this. He always got me, well, this is what it, because men, some men's mind can't, they don't, you can be stubborn. You just stuck in yours. And you don't even know how to bring somebody into your world or share. Yeah, but but now that, that that's, I value that. I value privacy. I value, mm -hmm. you know, a dinner with one person. I value a ride with one person. You know, I value, mm -hmm. back then, it was like, we're going to eat. One, two, three, four, exactly. five, six, seven, right. eight. Let's go. Right. It was always a party. But, but because we older now, you value it. But it was something, if, if you could have, you know what I'm saying? If you could have done it younger, you'd have been easy doing it now. Is yeah, what I'm trying to teach say. You can learn too. So I'm I'm gonna, I really appreciate you. Helping. You can learn too. Touch my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Touch my soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, though. That really is. Like for the record, John ain't the only one that cheated because everybody looked at him like he was shot. Oh, no. He's not at all. Oh, um, Pastor, um, you cheated too. <laughs> Guilty. I heard your testimony. You cheated too. Guilty. Amen. Um, so, so what's what's the thing that you you um you won't you won't in a relationship you won't tolerate? The thing that says this is it for me. I'm just, let me go for it. Oh, I'm gonna say I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I won't. And it's so hard because when you and me are these truths, but like, then you, I, no, I, you give your give your point. Don't give your person. Of course, I got right, you. Right. I, um, just what I said about you. I don't want nobody like to cross me. Like, always. I don't like cross. Like, you has it been a sermon years ago called "Sleeping with the Enemy," and how you can be married or attached to people and it's like I don't I don't want to one thing I won't tolerate is somebody that, that wants me to fail let me say that that's yes. good yeah. right yeah. that's right. good you love me, but you John you're your A game today man yeah I'm done though that was it yeah. <laughs> that's good <laughs> that you don't want to be attached to somebody that wants you to fail mm -hmm. yeah that yes. is rich right there yeah that's the right what you you gonna say something special <laughs> <laughs> Some, it's pretty much the same neighborhood because uh, it's. Yeah, I find it extremely important. Uh, even though people a lot of times tell you to put a board in front of your mirror or something to encourage yourself, put all these positive affirmations on there. Mm -hmm. But when you're getting it from your mate, the one you related man. to, Come on, man, man, that is so positive, so powerful. You know, to say things to you, especially like with me, because I came from a background where I heard all negative, 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 mm -hmm. negative. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. And that really affected me. So to constantly hear, not constantly to hear it over, you know, on a consistent basis, you know, you can do this. You are a man of God. And they see in you what sometimes you don't see in yourself. That's good. You know. 
Um, Eric, I'm sorry. I would say trustworthiness. Yes. I, I can't deal with no one that I cannot trust. Because in a relationship, in a marriage, or whatever it may be, you're going to be giving your partner stuff, whether it be your love, your car, your money, your kids. So I need to know that whatever I give you, you're going to do the right thing with. So but suppose they do the wrong thing with it. That's going to be you done now, with it? No, you can't say that you're completely done because everyone makes mistakes. Okay, well, and I think question. people um, <laughs> think that <laughs> I think people can mix up the difference between loyalty and uh, what's the name? This this fall. Yeah, just fall. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The question was really about what you'll be done with, like completely who, who done with. Seal the deal in the relationship. But that's that's good. We use that for the oh. next one. That's, that's, that's I, I honestly don't know, for real. Like I've been sitting here trying to think about like what would be a guaranteed deal breaker, and and part of that is probably because of the type of forgiving person that I am, but also understanding forgiveness because of the amount of forgiveness that I've needed in my life, that I don't know that there's one thing that I would say, if this happened, it's over. done. You know what have not been mentioned? Cheating. It's amazing. I, 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 it's, but you I, know, I, all jokes aside, you never know how you're going to handle the scenario until you end it. Right. Mm-hmm. You never know. Nobody wants to be cheated on. Right. But how do you handle it? The See, scenario, you know, you never really know. You're like, man, I'm, man, I'm done with you. you. Cheat on me, I'm done. And she can cheat like, why you do that? Mm-hmm. Right. What, what did I do that made you do that? Now, right. See, a lot of people don't mm-hmm. like to deal with what I consider the facts of cheating, right? So when you deal with cheating, you're dealing with generally one some form of attraction. What I what I tell people, and me and my wife have an open discussion about stuff like this because. Although she's married and although she's happy, all that other kind of stuff, I am not the only person in the world that she's attracted to. Yeah, because she's attracted to me. <laughs> so, so we try to, so like that. That. <laughs> try to put on the third row, she end up on the front row. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault, man. My mother so, You know what I'm saying? So like, it's like, I think that people will try to make it like, oh, you married, so you, you no longer have eyes. You're married, so you no longer have taste. Because we're not talking about attraction more we're talking about cheating no but i'm saying cheating that's what, is the act of something right but that's what i'm getting but to that's, that's what i'm no. getting to so uh, there's so many levels to cheating is that cheating can be considered thinking about someone cheating could be cheating talking about somebody well if you ask her i you know all my life i'm just saying think because you know all janet and janet been talking to my mind for a long time no this what i was gonna say at first but he keep he kept messing with me so i ain't wanna you know what i'm saying so Cheating is definitely a deal breaker. That's why I said I use cross, right? Mm-hmm. Cheating is the, a deal breaker. That was you, you now said listen, cheating is a deal and, and I you. did it. So that's what I was. That's doing. what I'm saying. How can it be I, a deal breaker if you cheated? Because it's levels to it on which you undone, right? True. There's a reason. No excuses, but I'm gonna say there's a reason why some people do it. We ain't gonna get into that. I did it for a reason. So you saying, see, now you're starting something now. I ain't starting nothing. I ain't starting nothing. You said it. You said it. You said it. I, said it. Said it. I, I said it. Well, I cheated because I was not happy, and it was for some years. Then and that's the that question. Question. So yeah. I didn't get mad when they say they wanted to end it. I didn't get mad. Because you were already cheating. No, because I, yeah, I was guilty of it. Yeah. So, so, so how can I get so mad about something like you said? So your answer is, not your answer, but my question is, you say, are you saying that you cheated? Break up. Leave that person alone. Not even listen to my guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, you got all upset. Bro. No, I ain't upset. I just know it's good. Go ahead. <laughs> my question is, since you, you know, you said you cheated. Yeah. He and Christ is a new creature. All right. things are passed yeah, 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 yeah. away. We're not talking about yesterday. We're talking yeah, about yeah, now. Yeah. Um. So you were, you were, you were, you gave up. Why you were cheating? No, see, that's what you do. That. You're not even waiting to my answer. You're not even okay. okay. If you do it one more time. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> We got twenty more minutes in the show. Can we get this question? Yes, sir. <laughs> the question is: When you cheated consistently, right? Were you ready to quit, waiting for her to to say she quit? That's the question. Okay, and my answer was it was over before that happened, but because of children. So you wanted her. Well, I now didn't want you want her to do her. nothing. Listen. We're not talking about. I don't want to get into that. Okay, well, I don't want to get into that. So, but you, did you ask me? No, the question? I don't want to get into. Listen to me. I want okay. you to answer the question. 
not giving. But you telling me to answer something, and you uh, not, not, telling me what else. I didn't think you need to be crap out of me. You be fighting like Walter Cronkite. Finish him. Let's say it again. Still a question, God. Let's uh, oh, let's get off the yellow bus. Yes, no, listen to me. Uh -huh. My question is not to that particular scenario. My question to all of y'all. Yeah, it's period. I'm just when you when you begin to cheat, are you through with the relationship? No. no. Waiting. Wait, listen. Waiting for them to make it through. No, I, the reason so I you want to no, stay with the relationship and cheat. Listen, the reason I say no is because again we talked about levels. We talked about That's levels to cheating. Would you say John? No, no, because you're so upset. Right now. No, I'm not upset <laughs> because what you. I, I, I just know my dad, but it's cool. Yeah, I'm so you. I, I didn't do it waiting for her to change to make stuff worse. She she was somewhere too. You you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But like like I said, I don't like to make excuses. It's when when guys make it broad, well, not close. Right, right. When when and I'm gonna I'm gonna say people even right. women if a woman's not happy right they the best ever done it. oh yeah the best ever you done don't it. Even the, know. Oh, the microphone you get what I'm saying and it could be because he won't take trade he won't do house chores or he won't show her enough attention or whatever it may be your mind can leave not saying that I was you was that person was there waiting for somebody to change it gets to a place for whatever reason they stay in it whether it's financial whether it's children or connection or whatever they the mind goes they stay there. You know what I'm saying? Now, for me, I, I really feel like it's better to leave, right? And the, the save, because I came up in a house like that and, and seen it. You know what I'm saying? And people stay for certain reasons. But sometimes it, it, it wind up, it, it hurts other people. It affects other people. Mm -hmm. you do, you think, do you think, let's go to everybody. I'm looking at you. But you right. know, you know yes, my sir. heart, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you think that cheating sometimes wakes up the relationship? I believe so. Yeah. Because be. people get complacent and think it won't go the way. The question early was, do you think a woman know your heart? Right. And they, they won't John, give you, you what you need form the day, boy. To, <laughs> to sustain you in the relationship and vice versa. We're going to change this I was, show uh, name <laughs> <of> John Davis. <laughs> John <laughs> Davis. Show. I, was I, was say, I was listening to a local uh, radio station today. And surprisingly, this topic was on there. And they talked about cheating. And they said they did a survey with a thousand women that cheated how many or what percentage of them actually stayed in the relationship? And they said 90% of the women that cheated stayed in that relationship. And they stepped out for, you know, the, the smallest reason, like you were saying, because right, he right. don't clean, because uh, he don't do the dishes, or he don't, you know, whatever. Right. It was just a natural fact. And they polled nine <coughs> women. It wasn't the men. It was the women that they polled. Mm -hmm. And 90% of them said that they would stay in the relationship and still cheat. So, so it's cheating. This is another question. So, do you cheat to go after the ten because the ninety percent is not enough? We, we, I'm not just talking about man, yeah, male yeah, and female. Okay. Because it's, I've, I've seen people say, you know, uh, um, um, I'm married and I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna deal this with you, but I'm not leaving my wife. Mm -hmm. Means that there's a great percentage of her I, I refuse to leave. And I know that if I leave it, it affects my life. That's the but the percentage that you give me, I'm lacking. Or I'm, even if I'm not lacking, that's what I want right now. But I'm not leaving my wife. That's good. And let me jump. Yeah, jump on my husband. husband. Yeah, yeah. Because I would say the, the, the key to that would probably be, or the um, driving force would be, like the main factor would probably be sex. Because you'll hear most people say, well, I cheated because that person wasn't giving me what I want. I thought the main factor was communication. Nah, no, no, nah, nah. dialogue. No, so that's a, and that's why I was saying about about the levels talk to, to it, each other. About the levels to it because it's a different scenario if the cheating was based on you guys built a relationship and you have a whole separate relationship outside of your actual relationship versus you are in your relationship and you, for lack of a better term, stumbled across somebody you were attracted to and one thing led to another and it was once and over with. I would just stop saying one thing led to another. We kind of know what your mind want to go to do. Let's be realistic. Some things just don't lead to another. Some things is like, you know, nah, if I mean, you give it up, nah. I'm going to give it to I'm going to take it. Yeah, but I'm saying that you don't necessarily go into it with your mind saying, oh, I'm going to get something. Order for somebody to, somebody got to start the flirt. Somebody got it. There's a line that you create, a mental line you create with, you know, with people. It's like each, we got uh, in the studio, we have women. That work with us and we joke and play with but there's a mental line right, that we create mm -hmm. someone have to say i removed that line 
And that's why I say, that's why we say it's level. So it depends where that person, man or woman, is at. Whether they just dating and they cheat. Even if they marry, yeah, it's a line. But it it depends what's going on in that. To me, I think whatever's going on in that relationship where they're not happy at and they're not willing. Because people don't want to be single these days. They want to be attached to something. Mm -hmm. But people don't want commitment either. So people want their cake and eat. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Women don't want the drama of a man every day asking where I'm going, where you been. Men don't want the drama of somebody asking me. I can't even, I, well, I want to go hang with my man in the night. Well, I, I had this plan to do this. And how you have something planned and I don't know nothing about it? Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm going to preach that. 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 It's going to get some bread. Yeah. I'm going to go to the gun ring. I thought we were going to go eat. How are you thinking for me without talking to me? Happens every day. Mm-hmm. It happens. Okay, let's change this. We got fourteen minutes, fourteen and seven minutes, seven seconds. Mm-hmm. How can we? Because we started something, right. and I don't want to leave it like this. Right. right. How can we heal the process or the burden of cheating? How can it be healed? We don't want to leave. This is cheating. Everybody cheating. Everything you know. How can we heal? And cheating is not always intercourse. Right. right. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Let's fix this right now. Yes. Time. Yes. Time. Time is yeah. cheating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think All communication. Right. And, and, and really being honest from the jump. And then a lot of people might feel like they do start off honest, but I, matter of fact, I'll say when issues come up, be honest about it. Because everything don't hit at the beginning, the middle, and engagement and marriage. When y'all first hook up and, and certain things, situations come up, whether it's kids, the house, or whatever it may be, be honest. Don't yeah, hide think- it because... Because you don't want it to mess up a relationship right now. Right. Because I think that people need to say, is good. when people say they're not happy, people ought to listen. They should. Yes. They, that's they the good. truth. I yeah. think yeah. that's one of the greatest falls. When someone say they're not happy, you, you're thinking that you're not happy for this little moment. Right. Listen. I'm, because usually when a man says I'm not happy, is or a woman say they're not happy, it's not that moment. That yeah. moment like increases yeah. it. They've been not happy for so a while. Know, build up, right. It builds up to it. So while. that's when the real dialogue... And the real focus need to be in that relationship because he'll tell you or he'll she had said, I told you how I felt. Right. And you're looking at it like you never I don't remember that word. Word. I that's word. Word. But I think I think in order for any of this to be healed, both parties have to be willing to change. Exactly. Because yeah. you know, like it's easy to get into a system in a relationship. So in that system, this is what you do. This is your day-to-day routine mentality, the stuff that you do. And although it may have been brought to your attention that he don't like this or that she don't like this, you may not have made any changes. And at the same token, if something happens, on the contrary... I, I'm going to stop you and say this because that, 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 that could be really complicated because I think I've counseled a lot, a lot of people and both parties want to change. They just don't want to change on the same page. Gotcha. Mm. Good. That's good. That's that's the truth. Both mm-hmm. parties do come in with change. Right. They just don't want to change on the same page. And the challenging in counseling is how can I get y'all on the same page, working on the same method, that y'all come back with the same results. So that's the also really not the biggest have a competition because one want to feel like you know like the competition is not my fault. If he changed this, I'll change that. Hmm. If she understand this, I'll change that. And it's not that. You really both got to die to yourself to come to some kind of agreement and we can start somewhere. And you got to win losing. You're going to have to lose one part of you what you're trying to do for it to make it work. Mm-hmm. So that one point you want to make, the people will hold on to the one thing that don't even matter. But they don't, just don't want to let that, that go. One point. Mm-hmm. They don't want to let it go. And that is that one reason will cause divorce. John, you preaching so what happens when you find out what that one reason is? is I can find it, but if she home? don't agree, it never works. You, if she I mean, agrees, one thing that, the man one don't. thing that made the man leave, made the man decide, I'm going to go out and do. When you find out what that one thing is, what do you do to try to rect- rectify things? I tell him. Because if she's saying she don't know what it is, or we ain't counsel, tell him. That's what I'm See, saying. The, thing, the thing is, is that normally when they find out what it is, it carries so much pain, they have to adjust to what it is. Because this is the first thing they say. When you tell them what it is, the first thing they say, male or female, no, it's not. And now I'm a liar. No, it's not. <laughs> well, I'm making it up. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm charging like you for all the, and I'm going to charge you to all the things you are wrong. From then from to that now. point, yeah, I got twenty. Because you're telling me, uh, well, it's because uh, 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 um, you won't clean the house up. I just did one room wrong, and he act like this is the thing made him go cheap. They, they don't want to accept that. Although it's ignorant. 
to yeah. them, yeah. it's passionate to me. Yeah. So that that yeah. that's, that makes that's true point. That's, that's very true. So that's why I'm saying about the, the change part, because both parties have to be willing to change. And although, On the same page. although you've made changes and they made changes, if the changes you made aren't the changes that they had complaints about, that's good that you changed, but page. you ain't you fixed my problem. problem. It's got to be on the same page. Yeah, you know, I, I still wrestle with one thing, because you, you find out what the problem is and you understand what you're saying, you need to be on the same page. But when you come back, if you still got bitterness in your heart and you're still upset, you're not ready. You haven't repented for what you've done, so you're always going to have a problem. Well, that, then you're dealing with the Bible, what the Bible says, you know, about bitterness, the root of it, how, it, how, how effective, how disease it is. Bitterness is like a disease. Mm -hmm. It's like a cancer. It eats a person up. Because what, what bitterness creates is fear. So now you, when he's not around, when she's not around, Bitterness don't think beautiful things. Right, right, hmm. right. It's created to eat you, yeah. eat you in. So um, I think that no relationship can be healed until you really start, before you get the answer, before you know the pattern, no relationship can be healed until you first start to forgive. Right. So sometimes it takes two weeks just to get to the forgiving place. Right. Now let's talk about how she or he got into the right. into this relationship. Right. Right. Yeah, now, you know, if you don't forget, you can walk around and be we great buddies, but y'all ain't forgive. Right. And the way you prove that you forgive, have a conversation exactly. that leads into that same direction. Problem. And right you, you can be divorced. Same, 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 boy, you can be divorced. <laughs> she got a man, you got a woman. Y'all have to cook out with the kids, and the question come up that deals with something that happened, and both of y'all would explode immediately. Right. And then you sleeping and loving somebody else mm. because bitterness is deeper than love. It's not a, what I'm saying. It's not attached to love. Right. It's attached to hate. Mm -hmm. And when you hate something, it's it's it, it's presence irritates you, it eats you alive. Mm -hmm. So it's it's it's, it's a, that's major. It's real I ain't trying to shut it down, but I just did. <laughs> right. So yeah, shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> Go just shut it down. But 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 how do we how do we as men help? Um, the relationship become healthy. Um, one person said communication. Can anybody think of something else to help a relationship with a woman become healthy? Consistency. Consistency. I think that's cool. Honesty. I think that's cool. Eric? Um, love. Love. Okay. How can we, what's the thing that help makes the relationship go sour? We already talked about cheating. One mm -hmm. thing. Name one thing. No long sentences. It's one thing. Um, Jealousy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, unforgiveness. Name one of them. Lack of understanding. Lack of trust. I say silence. Mm -hmm. I think that when a man becomes silent, the relationship is becoming silent. Because we feel women fail to understand that when a man is silent, he's still thinking. Right. And the whole thing about a woman's relationship to a man is to know what he's thinking. Hey, what you thinking? What's in your mind? What's your dreams today? What you afraid of? What's your strength? Why are you worried? What, what is worrying you? Right. Exactly. You know, thinking. And the and the key to a good relationship is when you can trust a woman with your thoughts. That's why the secretary becomes so valuable. Because you give her your thoughts and she doesn't tear them down. She doesn't minimize them. And of course, you're paying her to be that way. Right. But, that's but the, you know what I mean? Right. But that's right. the one you trust the more. And then you get to the phone and you're talking to her about business and you, you light up because she's getting paid to say, Good idea, boss. I'll work on it right now. I got it. So I think that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, we got five minutes. If you could change something in a woman that will listen to me, that would help you in your future, what would it be? You only got five minutes, so no paragraphs. Where you starting? Over let's go. Let's start over here. I say the willingness, her willingness to forgive and move on. Good, John. I agree. With you. Okay, that's a market. Um, to be able to forgive and forget. Good. What you say? Um, mine. I uh, mine. Yeah. 
I say her tongue. If I can change how she talks to me in every arena, if I can change that, I think I can. we can defeat anything. I think because when she starts talking to me wrong, she starts allowing me to stop speaking. That's me. I have dropped things. I mean, throw yeah, me some yeah. things. I'm not the king of the hill. It's, those are things that. Oh yes, my, one of the camera people looked at me like this. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's that's reality though, because you you shut down not because you want to shut down, but you shut down honestly out of respect for them. Because out of respect. If I respond. You're not going to be my wife in my response. <laughs> That's right. And check this out, because my level of energy is stronger than yours. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got a whole vocabulary full of words with tears, and I say shut up. And the word shut up stick cuts you straight in the throat. And you could done everything right for 23 hours and 59 minutes, brother. That would be shut up that shut last up, minute. That shut right up. Shut out everything you did all day long. Oh, shit. <laughs> they be like, who are you telling to shut up? You better shut up before it go too far. Yeah. Yeah. Little things like that. I'm just, you know, mm-hmm. like, just little, little things like that. So I think if I can con- control her being slow to speak, like the scripture says, you know. Because mm-hmm. the Bible says it's better to set to live on a rooftop under a thunderstorm with fire coming down mm-hmm. than to live in a house with a woman that talks, that's angry. Mm-hmm. And she's angry with her tongue. You know, and if, 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 if and if I think that's that should be a woman's, we're not bashing women. Don't please don't, right. don't, don't be right. writing stuff like y'all all on the women. You saying about the men? We all mess a mess up here. Well, they are. Um, but <laughs> but the reality of it is, is that it's the it's the it's the tone that draws the sheep, or the tone that runs the sheep away. Yes, yeah. it's the tone. You want to win me? Find the right words to say. Yeah. 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 The right words can be known, but if that person haven't still got some bitterness in them, they know what triggers. They know just what to say. They know just what to say. Just push that button to get you to respond. Do you think that women, we got two minutes, this is a hard, crazy question to close out on. Do you think that women master bitterness? Means that the words to say to you to make I think you snap. They I'm saying, yeah. they've, been, they've been trained. They've been, they've been trained it. since they, they were little. The women can say stuff ever since we was in elementary. You hate for that one girl to just your homeboys crack on you all day, right? If that girl crack a joke, it cut. Oh, cut. Don't you say nothing now. I won't <laughs> you, all day. you know what I'm saying? But from kids to now, women can always say. The only woman that can hurt me is that one I met my wife. My, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when they love you like that, that's why what I said earlier, and it's like they could cut you deep. And like you said, that them words, and you gonna get something back you don't want. Yeah, it don't work. We ain't gonna make it because I'm good with mine. You know what <laughs> yeah, what I, I got some stuff I could say because you ain't been real good all these years. Yeah. So I got some stuff I could say that'll make you want to check it. So I think that women don't think that we that women don't think that um, that they that we avoid certain situations because it hurts them. Right. But it doesn't mean it doesn't affect right. us. Yes, right. you know Definitely. it's a hurt. Since you know, mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm. it's just certain things we could have. Certain things you know, if we're sitting down with couples, sitting down chilling. There's certain things a woman could crack on your drawers. Mm-hmm. A woman could crack on certain things. You be laughing. <laughs> Say something about her period. Oh no, you didn't. Right. You ride home on the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> you have certain things that affect right. them very sensitive. They're very mm-hmm. sensitive in that area. You know, men are sensitive too. We we, we have baby sides too. Uh, um, but well, our time is almost up. We got a minute and twelve seconds. We um, hope that this this doesn't destroy marriages. <laughs> we hope that it doesn't tear down, <laughs> create controversies in your home. We hope that you don't run to your man saying you're a cheater, because um, the act of cheating comes from um, the, the, the mindset of the individual. Depression can make you cheat by not with someone else, but with sports or with, you know, drinking, you know, taking, cheating is just taking something from something else and giving it to someone else or something else. So uh, that's the value of it, losing value on something. So we pray that, you know, relationships get stronger. This is the season where relationships are being attacked. This is the season where the enemy, the, the whole structure of the kingdom is, and God's uh, uh, appearing is family. The church is built off family. Everything's built off relationship. Mm-hmm. The whole structure of this of Satan's kingdom being grew, growing in the earth is to destroy 
families. That's how he creates. Great separation. Bring division. And if you do that, you win. My time is up. The long one out. See you soon. Bye-bye. Man up.